Man, I ask around, but they ain't heard of ya. All I know is I do this shit, so don't worry about what I'm earning, bruh. Yeah, that real shit, them hoes know they turn it up. Fuck all of them burgers, I was great. Follow y'all till they learn to fuck, I'm hot. Hey man, say man, another review, another day, man. You already know it's your boy 314 Gunner back at you with another review. Alright, so today we got the Glock 43 upgrade video. Uh y'all seen the other video before. Uh the out the box video. Uh the why it was a my best carry gun uh video. Um if you ain't seen it, go back look at that one. Let me know what you think. But this video is just gonna be about the simple, cheap upgrades I did to the gun. Uh, since I've had it and uh, like I said these are going to be some really cheap upgrades that you guys can do really fast uh, as soon as you get the gun it will cost you under $100 basically uh, to have your gun looking good and feeling good so right now we're going to start with the first thing first the grips I got traction grips I uh, got these off Amazon they were $9.99 so $10 and they work great uh, the feel on it is great it's not the sandpaper grip it's the rubbery type of grip uh, and I really like it. Everybody that's held it really likes it. Uh, if it's rubbing up against your body, it don't scratch you. It don't rub off no skin, nothing like that. So it's good for females that wear tight clothes that's tight up on their body. Or, you know, uh, females that don't wear undershirts. Like I said, these are $9.99 on Amazon. So definitely a good investment. The way it feels is it's just extremely good. You get a, a real good solid grip in your hand and it don't go nowhere when you shoot it, especially with this being a smaller gun uh, you want to keep that grip on there you don't want it to be jumping out of your hands uh, when you're shooting or if you get to sweating or if you get blood your hand bloody or wet or anything like that you know you want to control it and continue to have a good grip on it these definitely do that and for ten dollars i think it's one of the best investments you can get uh, on this particular gun as you see it wraps all the way around like a regular grip um and it also came with the piece for the pinky extender down here. I didn't use that uh, just because I switched off mags. So I put a little piece up here uh, and on this side for the, uh, you know, I'm not going to rack it because it does have bullets in the chamber. But nothing in the mag, nothing in the uh, bullets in the chamber. It's got bullets in the mag but nothing in the chamber. Um, so it helps with the, with the grip, you know, just to rack it a little bit and looks pretty good on there but like i said these were 9.99 there's a lot of other grips you can get out there fox grips a bunch of other grips you can get out there they're usually going to be between 20 bucks somewhere around there 15 dollars something like that these like i said were 10 dollars and i love the feel of them and they actually stay on there too um that was my main concern were they going to stay on there uh, and I put a little heat to them from a heat gun and they folded right down and melted pretty much right onto the gun um, I do highly recommend these let it sit for you know a little bit and then it's on there It ain't going nowhere. I Like I said, I beat it up thrown it through a whole bunch of stuff Wiped it down with bleach all of that. You know what I'm saying? They keep on working And it's not coming off. So ten dollars. I think that was a great investment for this gun I would recommend it to anybody that's just doing some cheap mods to their gun uh, to the 43 second thing I did to it real quick uh, it's going to be the coloring on it uh, I end up doing this with some acrylic paint uh, just put it on there y'all can look up how to do that it's actually real easy but I didn't go with a deep red on it I went with more of a, a red orange to go with the front night sight on there um, I think it looks good it matches it, you know, and I definitely, I like my guns looking good, and I like my guns feeling good. And, and for a cheap, easy mod, like I said, ain't no reason why you can't do it yourself. Anything you can do to yourself, anything you can do yourself on a gun, you should be doing it. I don't care what it is, from cleaning it to taking it apart to um, different little mods on it. If you can do it yourself, just do it yourself. Save you a buck and learn how to do it. You know, that's the most important thing, the knowledge, to learn how to actually do it yourself. Because uh, if somebody ain't around to do it for you, who gonna do it? You gonna have to do it yourself. So you might as well just learn how if you can. If you can. It's just a gun. It can always be a piece replaced if you need a piece replaced, if you break something or, or something like that. But it's usually pretty cheap. 
to replace whatever you might mess up. And it's kind of hard to actually mess it up. It's a gun. Uh, it's going to shoot a bullet. When you pull the trigger, and that's all it needs to do. As far as the way it looks, it don't really matter. Uh, so anything you can do yourself, save you a couple dollars. I advise you do it or at least try and do it. Uh, the third thing, of course, on here is going to be the light. Uh, I got the TLR6 on here by Streamlight. Uh, I like this light a lot simply because of how it attaches and it's so thin uh, and actually stream, it streams right along with the gun. Um, it's a 100 lumen light, so it works pretty well. And it gives the gun a good look as well. It doesn't protrude from the front, which I, I love that. And uh, it actually goes really, really well with the gun. Shines really bright too. I got a clip of that. Here y'all go. All right, everybody got ears still? Nope. No. Nah, but go ahead. I'm finna go. I, you know, I ain't shit. I ain't shit to me. Light. TLR6. Uh, for the Glock 43. Shine pretty bright. Not bad. Well. It'll help you chamber around. <laughs> Works, don't fall apart on you. Gives you pretty good shine. But yeah, this is the this is the light off stream from stream light. It's the TLR6. Nine laser. I didn't get the laser on there because I didn't know how far down it was actually gonna come out the front. I believe it would just go right there, but I didn't want to take the chance. I wanted it to be real stream uh, uh, with the with the gun. So I didn't get that option. But this one was 60 bucks on Amazon. So, I mean, for $60, you get 100 lumen lights. And that's that's what I really wanted to go with. I didn't really care about a laser on this one. I got the night sights on there. So, uh, it's gonna be this is going to be for more close range work anyway. So, that's why I chose to go with the just light and not the laser. But you can get the laser light. They got the combo on there. And it'll be about $20 more. Uh, so, it'll be around $80, something like that. And that's, that's fresh off Amazon. So, like I said, these two mods right here with just the grips and the light on there, you're looking at under $100 right there. Now, the thing about this is you're going to have to end up getting you a holster that uh, work, is going to work with your light. Now, that's going to cost you a little bit more, uh, but I actually ended up finding one on Amazon for $19.99, $20, and that's going to be this one right here now you don't see that yeah this was $19.99 on Amazon it's actually a tuckable holster as well you can tuck it do whatever you want to do with it and it goes right along with the TLR6 uh, light or laser light combo um, this was a heck of a deal. I'm talking about a hell of a deal. I can't even lie. I mean, I, even, I ain't even going to shortchange you on this one. This was a hell of a deal. Every other holster I seen on there was at least $30, $40, $50. You know what I'm saying? And it did exactly the same thing. And most of them actually didn't even tuck. So uh, that's one thing that I found great about this one. Not only the price, but actually the, the things that you get from it, the different options you get from it. I can tuck this. And it actually goes pretty pretty far in. Uh, to where nobody would know I got it. The gun's already slim itself. So when you got it tucked like that, you feel like you don't got nothing on you. And I actually really like that feeling. This holster is made by Pegasus. And that's the one with the laser light uh, combo or just the light or whatever you want to do with it. And that's $19.99 on Amazon. Like I said, I really recommend this holster. It's really good for all purposes. You want to be real discreet. You just need a holster to hold it when you got the laser on. I want to, you got the light on there. Uh, for the price on this one, you can't beat it. Uh, at least to try it out and see if you like it. I mean, all you super gun guys. I mean, yeah, it's not a. You know what I mean? It's not your, your fifty, sixty dollar holster. But I mean, shit. Like I said, I'm throwing this together. And I think it looked damn good for the money that's into it. You know what I mean? Because it could be a lot more for a lot less. So, 20 bucks just to have, you know, be able to hold my light on there and carry it on me, I think it's well worth it. Like I said, Pegasus, Amazon, 
1999, y'all look them up. Nice fit. It also comes with the adjust, uh, adjustment screws. I mean, not the screws, but you know, the Allen key or whatever the fuck. It come with the Allen key. You can adjust this, but you can't. Adjust that for your tension. You know, it's not bad. Now, I did find a, another holster that... Um, was cheaper and it was actually ten dollars, nine ninety nine, and I got that one before I got this one because I didn't get the light, uh, you know, the light option on that one, and that one was from Tac Fox. This is the Tac Fox Kydex and Waistband Holster, and this is what it actually looks like. This is what it actually looks like. Like I said, it's not a bad holster, especially for ten dollars, nine ninety nine. Uh, shipping on it was free. I think that's because I got Prime though. But whatever. Like I said, ten bucks, you really can't beat it. Ten dollars, you really can't beat that for uh, when you get the stock gun. You don't got the laser on there or the light on there. Bam, ten bucks, you get you something to throw it right in. Pretty good holster, protect your gun, and uh, give you something to put on your belt. The only thing I don't like about it is it does have a uh, a thumb, uh, what do y'all call it? A thumb thing where you press down on it with your thumb to actually draw it, thumb draw or whatever the fuck. So it kind of pokes you if you want to wear it appendix style or something like that. But other than that, if you're wearing it at your, what is it, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, you know, it's it's good to go. And it, it don't give you no problems, and it actually uh, it works pretty well. So I really like that. Tech Fox on uh, Amazon, 9 dollars uh, not a bad holster at all. Like I said, everything that I'm telling y'all, everything that I'm showing y'all is all the stuff that I found basically the cheapest on Amazon to put this together. Uh, now, for those prices, everybody that sees this gun loves it. Everybody that sees the holster loves it. I mean, it's it's a single stack 9mm. I'm not really a fan of shooting them. It's not a joy to shoot, but, you know, I'm good with it. I can, I can hit with it. Um, would I would I prefer to walk around with a, a 19 or a 22 on me? Yeah, sure, but you know I'm not gonna do that everywhere, and I don't feel like doing that everywhere. Some places you feel like it, some places you don't, and most of the places I don't. So I carry, I choose to carry this. I still get that Glock feel, and when it comes down to using it, I, I'm not gonna care about the no recoil or nothing like that on this. I'm just gonna shoot it. Uh, as far as the mags for this, you already know. I think I showed y'all in the other video. I rock with the ETS mags all day for all of my Glocks. I got ETS mags for them. So, uh, 13 round mag, uh, under $15 that work every time in the Glock. Uh, you know, I can't argue with that. I can't be mad at that. So, that's what I'm rocking with that. As far as uh, extended mags go. And, you know, for people that say six shots ain't enough, seven shots ain't enough. Well, get your ETS mag real cheap and work with that. But yeah, like I said, that's just a quick review. Um, that's going to do it for me on this one. I got more upgrades coming. Um, probably just do some stuff I don't even need to be doing. But, you know, I love this little thing. It's my baby. This is actually what I'm carrying every day now. So, uh, you know, and something else in the pocket for all you haters. Don't think we ain't doubled up. But alright, that's going to do it for me on this one. You already know. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share, share, share. You boy 314 Gunner. I'm out. Uh. Yeah.